Hello my crafty friends, it's Ellie from Periwinkle Matilda. I'm here to do another video. Um, I've been having fun today uh, making this envelope that um, I distressed with uh, some woodsy colors for my woodland um, journal into the woods. Um, the Taylor made design team guest design team project and um, so I decorated this envelope and I had so much fun that I thought I would take you along to show you how I did it because Jean Kerr I believe that's her name um, I found her on YouTube and she inspired me to use chalk pastels so if you use chalk pastels to distress and color um, as opposed to using uh, the, the distress inks it doesn't bleed and if you rub the chalk really well into the paper it doesn't come off you can also use some hairspray to set it but I don't find that I need that um, so yeah I'm gonna show you how I made this um, Let's see, I need to get another envelope. Okay, I wasn't able to find another coffee dyed envelope. I must have used them all, so I need to make some more coffee dyed envelopes. This one I use a coffee dyed envelope. But I'm just going to use an off white envelope to show you um, how I did this. So, um, this was my Amazon purchase that I. Uh, received the other day that I said my cats were enjoying the box <laughs> but I purchased the Mongeo pastels I got the 48 different colors and I have oil pastels those don't work you have to get uh, chalk pastels so these are the chalk pastels that come in so many pretty colors <laughs> Um, you could probably use these blending tools, which I will try, but I forgot I had these. So what I did was I, um, which is what, uh, G Kerr uses. She uses a special tool for the, um, chalk pastels that clamps the, um, small cotton balls. These are, um, craft balls, little craft balls that I got at the Dollar Rama. You can get them at Dollar Tree, I think. Um, and they work great for this. So that's what I used. And I just used my little jewelry clamper to hold it. Uh, you could probably use tweezers or something. But um, I'm going to start off with a brown. And then you just rub it in to the paper. And I love the idea that it doesn't bleed like the distress inks bleed. And also the distress inks, I, I don't own a bunch of, you know, all these colors. So this is great to have. Um, I'm going to use a little bit darker brown now. Um, this is great to have. For this type of purpose you can use it on journal pages you can use it on any papers tags but it blends in you just keep rubbing it I think I'm gonna <clears throat> try this we'll try some orange Yep, that works too. I think I kind of like that. Because it doesn't put such a harsh line in. You can go back. blend it better Got 
in with different colors. So much fun. Been having a blast doing this. So I do hope you try it. I hope everyone's having a great day today. We're having really nice weather again. And if you hear background noise, people are doing their their yards and I have my window open. Just love all the different colors that you can blend in. And the more you put over top, the more you can blend in. And also you have to also know that this paper has a bit of a texture. This is almost like handmade paper. Whereas the coffee dyed paper was just a regular flat paper envelope. Um, so it didn't show this texture. So if you don't like having this texture on here, then just use a plain envelope and not a textured one. Just want to fix this a little bit here. A little bit of red. Have a play with it. Okay, now we'll do this side. Let's see, start off lightly, and then press down go in different directions to really rub it into the paper. I think I'll go back to using a pom-pom. Yeah, this uh, textured envelope grabs the pigment. I want to find this special clamping tool. I wasn't able to find it on Amazon, but maybe an art supply store would have it. I don't know what it's called.
takes a lot of blending. Putting different colors over top of each other. I think the pom-pom gives a little bit more of a controlled blending compared to the little brush. I think because it's a firmer. A firmer tool. Okay, so once you get it to where you like it, then you can move on to the next section. I'm going to do this part down here. My cat Felix is coming to check it out. I think he likes the noise and the movement. He's not the naughty one. Willow's the naughty one. I wouldn't trust Willow up here like I trust Felix. Felix, you my little helper? Okay, Felix, let's get down. Come here, buddy. Got his feet in the pastels. <laughs> Hopefully it's not toxic. I don't think so. It's just chalk. Pigmented chalk. So I think this is going to look really nice in my woodsy journal. Starting to look good. I think I'm going to do the edges of some of my journal papers journal pages with some of this. I think it'll look nice. Starting to look nice.
Yeah, I think I'll add a little bit of brown to this corner. And like I said, if you want to, you can spray it with some hairspray to set it, but it doesn't come off on your fingers. So I don't think you really need to. And also if you use the gel matte medium over top, um, I think I'm going to do a little bit more blending this one maybe add some gray over top of this to help blend it I love how you can mix colors together. And a little bit more green, I think. Okay. So then what I did was I, I picked up these Fox uh, napkins. I actually found them in a, like a hardware type store um, that sells plants and like a plant store. And what I did was I Pour around the outside of it. Just tour around it. Uh, 
I took it's three plies, so I took the two other layers off. And for this particular one, because the envelope's smaller than this whole napkin image, I trimmed around the fox. Don't throw this out because we'll use it on the other side. See how nice that looks and then I use um, gel matte medium I got from Amazon and see how it doesn't smudge like it would the um, the distress ink it would smudge, I think. I just love this fox. I just think it's adorable. I ended up spending a lot for these napkins, but I couldn't resist. <laughs> Knowing I'd use it for mod for uh, decoupage. Okay, so I'm going to dry this off and then I'll be back. All right, I'm back. I love this gel matte medium. It dries really fast. So this turned out really, really cute. I really like it. Now we're going to decorate this part. So I just get the other little bits. Just start placing it around. And unlike Mod Podge, the gel matte medium is so smooth. I mean, it's gel. It feels like, it feels like cream. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to dry this portion and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and this portion's dry. Another thing that I like about the gel matte medium it's not shiny. It definitely is matte. I find that when you buy the matte um, uh, Mod Podge, it's still shiny. Plasticky. I don't like it. Okay, so let's see. 
I want to do just a little bit more on this. I'm just kind of placing it around to see what I like. Okay, I think we'll do something like that. And again, you want to start from the inside of the napkin and work your way to the outside. Try not to go over it too many times so that you don't rip it. Just can't decide what I want to do with this little bit. Might end up just not using it. Yeah, I think I just leave it at that and I'll be back once it's dry. Okay, I'm back. So it's dry and I think it looks great. Cute little fox. And I'll definitely be using these in my current journal that I'm working on. So thank you so much for joining me today. I do hope that you try these chalk blending, or it's called blending chalks, chalk pastels. Um, I do think that you will like the result of it. And thank you so much for joining me today for another craft along. Um, I do appreciate it. I love crafting with you. Stay safe, be well, take care, and until next time. Bye friends.